Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to find the perimeter of BDC. And to do this, we're going to need to find out the length of this arc of the sector ABC. So we start then by finding that arc. And we should be familiar with this formula, the arc length of a sector. When you've got a sector and the arc length is L, that length is going to be a fraction of the circumference. That fraction, when you're working in radians, is theta over 2 pi times 2 pi r. You could cancel out the 2 pi's and you'll end up with theta times r. Remember, you can only use this, though, if you're working in radians. I'm going to work out the length of that arc, then BC. So we'll just put here an intro, and that intro will be arc length. Okay, arc length BC, and it's going to be the angle, 0 0.8 for the sector, compared with 2 pi radians. So that's the fraction of the circumference, 2 pi r. 2 pi times the radius, which is 16 centimeters. Remember, the 2 pi's would cancel, just leaving you with theta r. I haven't done the short version, just thought I'd go with that, just to show you how it's derived. 0 0.8 times 16 anyway gives you 12.8, so 12.8 centimetres for that arc length. Next, we need to work out this length here, say, BD. And we can get that quite easily by looking at the triangle ABD. We've got two sides and the opposite angle. So we can use the cosine rule on this triangle. So I'll just write up here that we'll consider, okay, consider triangle ABD. And we're going to be using the cosine rule. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with the cosine rule. If not, do check it out on my other videos. So we've got this side squared, BD squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that's going to be 16 squared plus 7 squared minus twice the product of those two sides. So it's 2 times 16 times 7 times the cosine of the included angle, okay, or the angle that's opposite the side you're finding, which is the 0 0.8 radians. Now again, you've got to be careful with this when you're using a calculator because we're doing the cosine of 0 0.8 radians. You've got to make sure you're in radians mode. So if you work this out, you should find then you get 148.937 and so on. To get BD, I'll put therefore, therefore BD. To get BD, we obviously need to take the square root to both sides of the equation. So BD equals the square root then of 148.937 and so on and what you get is 12.204 and so on centimeters. Now we can see from the diagram that because the radius is 16 centimeters we can expect AC to be 16 centimeters so it means that DC must be 9 centimeters okay to make up that 16. So we've got everything we need now to work out the perimeter of the shape BDC. So therefore we can say perimeter of BDC is going to be equal to the arc length 12.8 plus the length BD which is 12.204 and so on, plus the length DC, which is 9. And adding that up, we end up with 34.004 and so on. And if we round this to, say, three signum figures, it's going to be 34.0 centimetres to three significant figures, 3SF. Okay, 